not so long ago, mail was still carried by horse and carriage. Swiss Post, Switzerland's postal service, is now testing the feasibility of using drones for parcel delivery. The model being tested can carry a package of up to one kilo over a distance of more than 10 kilometers. Will a drone like this be the postman of the future? Drones will never replace the ordinary delivery process. On the contrary, they will be there to complement the work of the postman in delivery situations that are problematic. Since autumn 2014, as part of a pilot project, the German Postal Service flies regular services to the North Sea island of Juist and delivers medicine to the local pharmacy. Swiss Post imagines a similar use for its drones. We can imagine using them to deliver medication to areas that are cut off due to unfavorable weather, or in other scenarios, like high-priority deliveries of, for example, laboratory samples. The 3.8-kilogram drone can fly on its own over a predefined flight path. Swiss Post thinks it will be using drones at commercial level in five to ten years. The Federal Office of Civil Aviation considers these plans to be realistic. It is working on new drone legislation. Our main concern is that drones should not pose any risk to bystanders. It is also in our interest that drones should not be an obstacle to other flying objects. At the same time, we recognize that we should not impose too many regulations that would hamper a commercial enterprise that is just establishing itself. But the question remains whether drones will be able to fly over populated areas. In Zurich, the Federal Technology Institute and the University are jointly contributing cutting-edge research to try to find solutions to questions that arise when drones have to fly in cities. For example, how would an autonomous drone fly when there's no good GPS coverage? So there are different possibilities. One possibility would be like we are doing in my lab to use optical navigation. So I have a camera that basically tracks landmarks from the environment. It builds a 3D model of the environment and it uses this model of the environment to navigate. It remains to be seen if and when drones will replace postmen. Meanwhile, at the Federal Technology Institute in Zurich, under experimental conditions, you can already watch drones play tennis. <laughs>